Hey, so I have this huge Minecraft world that I've been working on for like, I think it's 10 years now. It first started in 2013. And I've done a few videos about this world in the past. There's just so much history on this world and so many builds. And I'm continuously updating this world until it's ready to become a server this year. So I'm continuing my video updates about this world on this channel here. But if you want to see some previous updates, check out the playlist that I will link because I've been doing videos about this for a while now, like a few years at this point. But yeah, anyway, this update has some really cool stuff. So stick around for that. Let's get started. We are on update 11.8 of this world, which means there's a lot of updates. And this time around, this is all that has changed. All right. So the first thing that has changed is all the way in Chukka City, which is behind these mountains that are loading in. So something super epic that I did is I made new houses in Chukka City. Look at all this. It looks like a real neighborhood, right? Sort of. Like, they're all cool houses. And when this becomes a Minecraft server, you know, people could buy these places and live in them. Like, look at this house. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I don't know. Just a bunch of different houses. And I think it's really neat. So new houses in Chukka City. You already know it's a good time. Now, the next update I did is on the other side of Nexus City. Hey, Nexus City, how you doing? So I think this is like the center of the world. It's just so huge, but it's all the way over here. Now, this is technically the spawn city, uh, which is called Central. So this is Central. It's a new city that's like very bland right now. You can tell there's nothing on, like there's nothing. It's all empty except for, you know, a few little buildings here and there. So this is a, a major part of this world update, all right? I mapped out all of the roads. Uh, this is what it looks like on a map, okay? Just to give you a perspective of where this city is, that's n the Nexus, right? And all the way over here is this city. So it is pretty close by, and this will be like the main city that you people will be able to live in when this becomes a server real soon. Yeah, I mapped out all the roads. I also added Frolic Friday Tower. Like, this one is super awesome. Um, I don't know what's going to be in here exactly, but people could post submissions inside this building. <laughs> they won't be able to, but like, it's just cool. Frolic Friday is super iconic, so of course it needs its own tower. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I did this building in a live stream, actually, I remember. I built it live. Just like I built this building right here live, the Central Arena. It was a whole huge five-hour live stream where <laughs> this is basically a hockey arena or event center and it's huge okay this thing is massive and it took forever to make but i did it it's it's just a hockey arena i don't know you could you could play hockey there's three levels of like stands for you to check out and watch the game from like isn't that awesome i feel like right here you don't really get a good view of the game <laughs> so you'll need like I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool though. So like here's the lobby, right? And then you go into the various levels. There's a crap ton of stairs and that's about it. It is simple at the end of the day, but it took forever to make getting everything all, all fixed up and stuff. All right, because we're in central, uh, I also did a lot of other things. I opened the central airport. So like there's nothing in it yet, but it functions. It actually functions. Okay. And the runways are here. It looks cool to me. Like, it's like a small airport, I guess, if you really compare it to big ones, but I think it serves a, its, its function really well, and it is actually usable. You can actually fly from here. I'll show you how, okay? <laughs> you just get Elytras, and then you turn on flying power right here. See that? It'll make you fly, and then of course you can land on the runway. I also opened up Central Station. Bro, I still have slow falling. Oh, good grief. I opened Central Station, this is it right here, because of the new copper blocks in Minecraft, I was like, hey, we gotta open a cool train station out of copper. So, you know, all of this, this right here, the rails connecting the whole world together, all the train stations are kind of lame throughout the world, so I wanted to make a super awesome grand looking one and put it in Central, so this is what it's like. Isn't it cool? It looks like an old type of train station. You know, so I'm going to slow down the oxidization process over the years, over the years of the Minecraft server being out uh, to eventually where it'll be like four years from now, it'll be completely oxidized. So you could kind of track how old the server is. It's really cool. Next up, I added new buildings to Central. I don't really know what these buildings are for. Like, I guess it's for rent if you want to buy <laughs> a building, I guess. Like, these have no purpose other than just to fill up space and look cool. Like. They don't do anything. But I did add Central Hospital, so at least this one has a purpose. It's the biggest hospital I've ever made. It's it's massive. Like, it looks... You can tell what it is, obviously, with the big plus. 
but like there's um you know some cool glass work and the lobby it's not furnished at all <laughs> which is kind of a problem like it's just really empty right now all the buildings in central are empty i'll have to force a builder team on the server to actually furnish all these things because i'm too lazy to do that but up top is pretty cool you got a helicopter pad honestly you could probably fit a few more helicopter pads no one cares about the hospital okay it's not as cool as the police station this one's the police station and i think it looks kind of like intimidating so you don't want to break the law in central all right i just like all the texture added to the outside that i did like it's neat <laughs> using a lot of different dark blocks which is kind of cool so yeah police station again it's not furnished at all so it's kind of like hey what's going on in here why is there nothing but i did make sure to add some roof details still so helicopter the helicopter helicopter that's all that matters right i also added this building this isn't anything yet, but in future updates, this will be something. So watch out for that. It'll be cool. All right, so finally, the main update in this concrete central area is that I removed the bridge. There used to be like a wooden bridge somewhere over here, and it was completely gone. You see, it's just, it's integrated with all the uh, the concrete. Okay, no, this the wooden bridge was over here. I remember it was over here across this river. Uh, it used to be right here, and now it's just gone. It's all, all the tracks are underground now because they don't get used, so... So I could show you in spectator mode all the tracks. Oh goodness. See, there's the tracks. <laughs> the, so the railway that this used to be is still functional, which is kind of funny, uh, but the bridge is gone now. It's right by the castle, the grand awesome castle. So it's, it's just gone. I don't know where it went. It's gone, okay? Uh, but anyway, the final update in Central is this right here. This is a bank. So I wanted to make something epic in the world where you could go and put all your trustworthy valuables into. So this is the bank and this is called Starguard Bank. I feel like the name might have changed in a future update. I don't remember. I think it's Moonguard now. But yeah, currently this is Starguard Bank and the inspiration was Green Gods from Harry Potter. So you go inside, you know, there's sort of lobby stuff and then the the entrance so you know you can come in here do your transactions or you can access the vaults so the vaults are down here in the dungeon in the basement so this is actually really cool to me this took forever to make by the way look at this there's so many vaults that you can put all your crap into isn't it awesome you could lock away secrets in here and look how deep it goes it goes super deep except this one was made before the new minecraft update so it actually goes deeper later on and i'll show you that in the next video about this because it goes more insane than it is already but you know the idea is when you join the server you can buy a, a vault and then put whatever the heck you want in it and it'll be completely safe in this netherite vault it's kind of cool it's like harry potter like you just lock whatever you want you can put your money your treasures your valuables your blocks you don't want people to steal and items and there's definitely more than enough vaults to go around okay unless the server becomes super huge but you know that's the way she goes just for uh, some inspiration here's my vault king time works time works why does it say it twice now i'm not, i'm confused by what's going on here but this is my vault you see i put all my friends in here because i don't want people to kill them okay i don't want people to kill them but there's a lot of artifacts in here that you will not be able to see yeah <laughs> so yeah that's the vault and it's just underground it's very safe now there was a little change in the nexus uh basically the grand map room has been completely trashed okay there used to be a huge map room right here in the nexus and i have reduced lag because there were so many f item frames and maps in here i'll show you what i did so from a player perspective it doesn't look like the maps are gone you have to step on this block and it'll teleport you far away to extreme lag it takes you right here to where you can actually see the map uh, so here's the map of the universe <laughs> and it's just very 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 cool except having this all the way back at spawn it was super laggy so it had you had to be teleported away um, to reduce lag now I also did that for the map room inside the winterland palace so it's all just relocated for lag so now it's not laggy out here remember in previous videos how I used to lag really badly when standing around here completely gone now you can actually enjoy the the castle which i realized is not symmetrical and that really <laughs> really bugs me look at that oh yeah the symmetry i do not know how to fix that either because it's symmetrical with the door so i don't understand i don't know what's going on i'm just 
Just don't pay attention to the symmetry and we'll be okay. Now the final update is all the way in a vent tree. So I just added that cool looking greenhouse that I made a while ago on a friend's Minecraft server. And then I just copied the buildings and put them into here because I want my builds to stay somewhere forever. So they're always in the world. Isn't that special? But yeah, that's really about it. So if you want to see more, I will leave a link to a playlist of all of this in the description. Check it out. I will do more Minecraft world updates over time. So just, you know, watch out for them. I have a few more coming out because I got a lot of awesome projects getting ready for when this becomes a Minecraft server. So super hype about that. Like there's so much planning going into this. It's like, it's almost bigger than a huge video project that I'm also working on at the same time. <laughs> Big projects coming up is what I'm saying. So yeah, thank you for watching this. Click subscribe for more and guys, fly on.